Hey guys, welcome back to the Windswept Cowboy. Today I am working my way through my to-do list, mainly outdoor projects, one indoor project where I switch out my can lights in my kitchen, but there is a huge amount of outdoor projects that may give you inspiration in case you are needing to do some of the similar things that I am doing too. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna spray paint this guy. I have had him for probably 15 years. It stopped working a long time ago, and I just use it as a planter. Before I put plants in it, I think I wanna spruce it up just a tad. And it is kind of windy, so I'm gonna try to move it over there to spray paint. This is what I'm using. And I hope it works. This is just what I have on hand. And you know, nothing fancy. I just want it to look a little more fresher. If you are new, welcome. My name is Chrissy and I am so happy that you found my channel. I love to share all things homemaking like cleaning motivation, recipes, home decor and decorating, shopping and hauls, and of course DIY projects around the house. So if any of those things are things that you are interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and be part of our family. Okay, change of plans. The burnt amber or whatever it was, burnished amber, did not want to spray. So I think that's trash. I do have these. I have a cement texture, which is kind of similar to what it was before. And then I also have this, which I'm gonna try first. I may mix the two, just very lightly kind of go over it, because this is not so bad. It's just a tad purple. But once I get my flowers in it, I think it might be okay. So let's see what those two do. I don't know if you guys have noticed, when I shoot in my kitchen, it is very orangey looking. And I was just kind of tired of that. So I bought some new light bulbs, and they are like the really bright daylight ones, and I'm hoping that helps, but we shall see. Let me show you what I'm using. I ordered these on Amazon, and of course I needed 12, and they come four to a pack. So I bought three packs. They are the 45 watt replacement, they are LED, and they are the 5000K brightness. So let's check this out and see if it makes it any better.
Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the difference. That is insane. I love it so much. I'm gonna have to order another pack though because you see the little spotlights. They're kind of that orangey gold color. So I think I'm gonna buy another pack and then switch those out and then I'll have a couple spares. But oh my gosh. And I don't even have my under counter lighting on. Y'all, if you don't have under counter lighting, you are missing out because that is like life changing. So let me turn on those lights and give you the whole overall picture. I just love how those under counter lights light up my decor and my countertops and it just reflects all of the light that's going on. So yeah, this is so much better and I'm hoping when I video in here, it's not gonna look all orangey and gold. Again, here's another shot of what I used and I will link these in my Amazon store which is also linked here in my description box. So there's a close up. So yeah, if you guys have like track lighting or like these can lights, oh, this is such a difference. Hey guys, welcome back to the Windspot Cowboy. We are in my garage because I wanted to try something new and the wind is blowing in the 30s, which is normal. You have to get up at like 3 a.m. maybe to not have wind here in Wyoming <laughs> and that wasn't gonna happen. So I really, really, really want to try out this spray paint. I know it's not new, but it's new to me and I desperately need to give these chairs a makeover. So I'm hoping I can get both of these chairs out of one oh, can. Yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's that's a great savings than, you know, having to either throw them away or buy cushions for them. But you can also spray paint your cushions. So yes. I, I don't really have any to try this on. So we're going to try it on the sling fabric and see what happens. working our way through our to-do list and next up I will be staining like the wood border between my patio and walkway and grass so let me show you what I'm using Get a little closer for you this is what I'm using and I have used this for several years now and I don't have to do it every year. It does last really nicely, but this year I've moved some of the wood border around a little bit, and so it needs freshened up. So we're just gonna do all of it so it matches. And um, I'm a little leery because I've seen three snakes back here already. So if you see me like get up and run, you know why.
right guys, we are in the garage now working on more projects, of course. And I have these two plant stands. Let me show you what they look like. They're just plain plant stands from like Walmart, places like that. I'm going to still use one as a plant stand, but freshen it with some spray paint. And the other, I'm going to make an end table out of by using this wood round. And I got this at Menards, and I believe it was $6. And that makes a really nice side table for out on my patio area. So I'll be spray painting those and then attaching that. And this is what I'm using for spray paint. While those are drying, I thought of something else I wanted to paint, and that was this rug that was at my back steps. It got hailed on. I had refurbished it last year, but as you can see, it's pretty worn. It needs some TLC. But you know what? The rubber part is still really good, so I'm just going to spray it black and just leave it like that. guys we came back in the house because the paint is still wet out there but I do have another project of course right well this one is involving wine bottles so if you have a few of these laying around this is a super easy DIY and I've been doing this for about three four summers now and I just make little like little outdoor lights and they hang on my fence works really good and I am using the silicone. This is actually the first year that I'm using silicone because they always fill up with water and I'm hoping to prevent that. So we're going to start with some silicone under my lights. There's a couple holes here so I'm going to seal those off and then like silicone around the top and then put this down into it. So here we go. Alright guys, I took this into the garage and I shaved off the ridges because this opening was a little bit tighter than those. So I'm just going to silicone around it and we'll be good to go. I'm going to use my staple gun and these particular staples you can screenshot that if you want um, but your sizes may be different from mine but I have like this rounded wire 
and the rounded staples work perfect. So I'm just gonna go around and add some staples. I'm filming. Well, let's not. Why? Oh no! Get it, Mom. <laughs> I'm still filming. No, Shelby. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> no. Do you want my shoe? What you Jesus. Here. Mine might fit better. Oh no, I hope it didn't go in my oh, shoe. Oh no! <laughs> I thought you got new shoes. Yeah, these are the new shoes. Oh, is that it? It might have been it. Okay. All right. I guess I'll put my shoe back on now. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. There's another spider. Shh. <laughs> I don't see it. It went up and under. Is it big? No. Okay. All right. Well, I've been filming. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to come out here. Oh, well, I didn't know you were talking. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. There's spiders and snakes. Yeah. <laughs> here I am having to break the seal on this hopefully it will hook back up but I could not bend this so this is how I need to hook them together I push that bottle up and then push this down and then I have a set screw that tightens it up right here on the side Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me while I worked on my massive to-do list. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!